Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. This is more for the Hammer Bros. Again, it's Hammer Progression video. However, in my last video, I waned more towards early game Diablos and then late game Sleep. However, two things then conflicted me. One, Mr. Cups, who gave me so much information on the Hammer, would always prefer Diablos over Sleep. Others would prefer sleep, but I've got to give Mr. Cups his dues, considering he's probably the best Hammer player I've ever met, and if he's recommending Hammer, that's got to hold some weight. Secondly, as well, Taroth Hammer Sleep is an RNG drop from that pain in the ass quest called Taroth. So you might not obviously get that Hammer. However, that video was going on quite long enough. I try not to go over. 10 minutes or I try and get it around 10 minutes I don't really care for the adverts because I'm not monetized but 10 minutes is a good length that I feel to get a good bit of information in so I called it short and this is a separate video all about the Diablos hammer progression for the Di well, Diablos shatterer as it were so I'm gonna go straight into it with all of the bills from the start so the first few builds are going to be the exact same as the previous video, Diablo Shatterer, Odegaran Helm Alpha, Rathalos Male Beta, Odegaran Van Braces Alpha, Odegaran Coil Beta and Rathalos Greaves Alpha with a Handicraft Charm. We're simply just trying to counteract that negative affinity at the moment and maybe push into a bit of the positive. After you've given a few of the Elder Dragons a good old bit of a beating, particularly no Gigante, you can go for something like this. Nogi Helm Alpha, Rathalos Mal Beta, Kaiser Van Braces Beta, Nogi Coil Beta, Nogi Greaves Beta. Obviously, of course, using a Handicraft Charm. And don't forget to put that one attack decoration you have in. This puts you at 60% affinity and gives you a nice chunk of EFR. From here, we're doing just a little bit of grinding and trying to add in some decorations. Here's a mock-up of what you could use. Elementless Jewel 2 is going to be a must-have and maybe from there three expert decorations just to increase your affinity just that much more now with some pretty hefty grinding we're going to add some utility in by trying to incorporate master's touch so for this i'm going to be using an affinity augment in the hammer elementless as well nerg hell mouth with an attack kaiser male beta with two experts kaiser van braces beta with a tenderizer nerg coil beta with a tenderizer and then of course kaiser grease beta with another expert it is at this point where you could potentially start looking at good old behemoth which will give you a lot more variety and options although very much decreasing them as well so for draken armor we have nerg helm alpha with an expert draken mail with an empty decoration slot feel free to put you want in that what you want in there draken van braces with two tenderizers draken core with a mighty draken greaves with a tenderizer and of course the handicraft charm again now that empty decoration slot feel free to put a critical boost in there perhaps another handicraft to finally push the weapon into white is entirely up to you we're still using the Diablo Shatter with an Affinity and a Elementless decoration. And there is one more Augment slot in there. If you're comfortable, go for Damage. If you're not, use Health. However, if you plan on taking Diablos into the severe, severe late game, you are going to want to uh, put another Affinity in there, which potentially could alleviate some pressure for some of the decorations. This is one of the few builds for Diablos that does actually hit 100% however on a slight side note no matter what you do at that point using those armor pieces with that rough layout the sleep hammer will hit harder from here I've got a few different mock-ups of different things you can use at this point here I'm utilizing the Kushala coil just so that I'm able to hit handicraft 5 which gives me 20 points of white although we're at 502 EFR we've also dropped down to 90% affinity and then here we're utilizing the Nergigante Greaves Gamma. This puts us back at 100% affinity as well as having 504 EFR. This is actually a build that I quite like. I find it quite safe and usable, but it's not for everyone. And then last but not least, we have the, again, 
the big daddy of the hammer builds and it is quite simply broken but i absolutely suck at it just for your information i completely failed this kirin run one because i suck with a hammer two because i don't have that health return which i sadly rely on and i kept on going into blue sharpness and i just wasn't getting the damage out so let's have a look at this build so here it is the Beast, Diablo Shatterer 2 with two affinity augments and an elementless decoration. Draken Alpha Helmet with a handicraft and an attack. Draken Alpha Chest with a mighty decoration. Draken Alpha Gloves with a mighty and a tenderizer. Nergigante Gamma Waste with a tenderizer and an expert. And then Draken Alpha Greaves with another tenderizer. Rounding it all off, we have the handicraft charm. This gives us a grand total of 98% affinity and 521 effective raw. This thing hurts. It's just a shame I suck with it so I can't really show it in all its glory. But it really, really does hit hard. Anyway, I don't want you to see my failures as a hammer player. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped the Diablos players out a little bit more and giving them a little bit more love thank you very much to mr cups yet again for all of the information he has provided and i hope to see you guys pretty darn soon if you like my content feel free to click that subscribe button it is free helps me out and good luck have fun don't die it's bad for the health